uh, as far as I have uh, seen the career of Pralad Patel, he seems to be very attached to uh, his parents, his mother and uh, his father, IATN. And of course, Mr. Patel takes a lot of pride uh, in being a father, a doting father to two young daughters. A new Indian team travels in Jabalpur and Narsingpur constituency to understand how Prahlad Patel's kid, away from politics, lived a quiet life and chose career in arts and architecture. The way he got himself in politics, the reason was that he wants to serve people and I still see that in him, even at the age of 63. And it's remarkable the way he still wants to update himself and learn. But I believe that, I mean, of course, uh, you all also borrowed the learning from your own father who holds a degree uh, in geology. Uh, what are the impressions that you have got from him? And You know, he would take us and teach us about these rock formations, how different they are, what their composition is, how they actually aid or, you know, supplement the ecosystem. The way he got himself in politics, the reason was that he wants to serve people. And I still see that in him, even at the age of 63. And it's remarkable the way he still wants to update himself alone. So, so Pratikya, I mean, of course, uh, we're just a few days away from elections and yes. your father is, has jumped from uh, that of uh, Lok Sabha elections to this elections. Uh, what do you do and how excited you are uh, as far as your own uh, spending time is concerned? Uh, so currently I'm pursuing my master's in MSA from Shivnagar. So the, my specialization is in ceramics, but the way my practice is shifting, it's in multimedia and installation. The two daughters are very attached to the father. All three of us are, generally. And it's it has to do with the way he has made time for us. And it's a quality that I've learned from him that, you know, you actually make time for things that matter. He makes time for his people, his um, region that he might be, you know, uh, he might have his election in or his old constituencies as well. People are actually devoted to him in that right. sense. Tamu. Exactly. And older constituencies. Right. People know him and people actually value him for that. And that something comes from the kind of uh, the way he carries himself or with the integrity he carries himself. The way he got himself in politics, the reason was that he wants to serve people. And I still see that in him, even at the age of 63. And it's remarkable the way he still wants to update himself and learn. Uh, I believe that, I mean, of course, uh, you also borrowed the learning from your own father who holds a degree uh, in geology. Uh, what are the impressions that you have got from So, uh, he wants to pass to La Metagat and it has rock formations from creation time. So, you know, he would take us and teach us about these rock formations, how different they are, what their composition is, how they actually aid or, you know, supplement the ecosystem and how they look overall. So, you He know, would take all three of you, all yes, three of the kids. Yes, a lot of family that friends as well. Yeah. And then nearby Jabalpur, there are, you know, dinosaur fossils as Correct. well. Correct. And he would teach us about that. He would teach us about soil oh. composition. You, you taught all of them uh, the fo about mm. the fossils and yes. about the matter as well. Even soil composition through farming. Because you were doing geology. Yes. My father has written a thesis in the world. I don't think it's a book in the world. The world. Very good. The title would be Sacred Scapes of Narmada and she has uh, covered Parikramas, Geological Formations, Architecture. So she is a conservationist, did her master's from SPA. And the kind of information that book is going to have is going to be very, very interesting because there's a lot of data, a lot of oral traditions and a lot is going to be covered in this. Simplicity, austerity and modesty, which is the hallmark of a, a good politician okay. that is also visible in the three kids of that you are and uh, having grown up in a place like Jabalpur which may not be as comparable to the metropolitan towns of Delhi, Bombay but uh, it's still uh, it is a town rich with culture and legacies and the folklores for instance even the road which we are traveling from uh, has a history on the side that uh, Narmadaji uh, का जो एक फवारा है दुमादार जैसे कहते हैं ये चीजें दिखनी आपको एक नेचर की तरफ से भी एक इंडिकेशन है दैट द टाउन्स एंड द प्लेसेस हैव अ रिच 
rich legacies and rich culture i think it's the way we have been brought up to be honest uh not everybody or everyone from this city might agree and the way we were brought up right uh, i was born in delhi but he chose that kids should be brought up surrounded by family and that's the kind of value that i see lacking in most cities and even in my practice and the way i carry myself i avidly talk about them because so my just which are the things that you talk about the local mostly uh, you know with disciplines or old stories like i tell people this is what my father has taught me this is how i carry myself because i've seen my father you know carry himself like that and the same goes with my mother and the way they respect each other it's remarkable and i really idealize that sort of relationship and the respect they have for each other jabalpur ki kya kya khoobsurtiyan aapko nazar aati hain zyada logon ke culture kya kya so teen mahal ya char mahal sites so the sites are chosot yogini i love that temple beautiful architecture then we have bheda ghat the waterfall and the gorge ji and the gorge the third is the gorge you have to look at it because this huge marble you know hills and it's so beautiful and you have to travel through there it's so serene quiet and you know locals of parikrama vasis might be singing the kind of ethos the city has and the way i grew up there were people from other villages aap logon ne teenon bachchon ne kitne kitne saal guzare yahan pe this more than that yeah lagbhag 2003 mein papa ji hum shift hue the aban mein thoda padhne hain so tab se hai so it was your father's decision that you must uh, stay in jabalpur all three of you nahi no, he never he has never imposed any decision on us from what we have studied to carry ourselves his requirement for us was to travel as much as we can and learn as much as we can and one thing he would tell me is to uh, study society one it can be done through academics second is through living with people or being with people and third he said was you do both so that you have a more rounded understanding of where you are coming from and his same was his views on politics he said he said one day when we were in school he if you go without studying and who being yourself they will tell you ki since you had nothing to do you got into politics and that should not be your hallmark you have to work hard and you have to prove yourself well we are carrying ourselves very differently for our community which is quote and quote called backwards so he says ki that should not be the case and we have to stop being ourselves right In Jabalpur, the new Indian team also met Prahlad Patel's wife, who shared the joy of becoming grandparents. Here's what she had to say. मैं तो शादी हो के आई तो ये दो चुनाव लड़ चुके थे उस समय। हाँ, इन्हें 89 first मतलब सबसे कम और MP बन चुके थे। और सबसे कम उम्र के MP थे। लिम का बुक में नाम था 89 में। फिर 91 में जो राजीव गांधी खत्म हुए, उसमें ये दूसरा चुनाव हुआ। ये हार गए थे उस समय क्योंकि वो तो लहर हो गई थी। और फिर उसके बाद हम लोग की शादी हुई। फिर उसके बाद और दो चुनाव सिवनी से लड़े फिर बालाघाट फिर छिंदवाड़ा अभी दो बार दमोह फॉर सच फाइन न्यूज ब्रेक्स एंड वीडियो फीचर्स फ्रॉम ग्राउंड ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल द न्यू इंडियन बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द बेल आइकॉन आल्सो फॉलो अस ऑन द सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम ट्विटर फेसबुक एंड गूगल